So when the guests come to Rhythmia, you know, there's all these different modalities that we offer and they're all working towards what we call the miracle, to achieve the miracle. And that miracle is realizing three of our intentions that we teach everybody when they get here. And it, the first one is show me who I've become. The second one is merge me back with my soul at all costs. And the third is heal my heart. And the way that they achieve that is through the ayahuasca sessions, through the breathwork sessions, through the massage and body work that we offer, through the classes, through meditation, yoga, the food, the hydrocolonic cleanses, everything that we offer is focused on helping people achieve that miracle rate. And the, the interesting part about it for me, working in the science field and at UCLA Med Center for many years and running different rehabs and hospitals and all kinds of stuff uh, in Los Angeles where I'm from, I love the science and the neurochemical component of what's happening with ayahuasca. So what I've been able to study and observe and look at and also experience with the 16,000 clients that we've had at Rhythmia is that there's a process neurochemically happening in the brain that is leading to this miracle where they're having these awarenesses and these breakthroughs. And ideally, the way to explain this, you know, without getting too complicated and too neurochemistry science-based, but for everybody to understand, is the amygdala part of the brain is what holds and stores our subconscious emotions and memories. And if I go through something very scary um, in a trauma moment, I don't want to be scared and have fear in that moment because if my emotions are strong during a trauma experience, they get in my way of survival. I need to run. I need to fight. I need to behave and observe. And if I'm, if I'm freaked out and scared and maybe have empathy for the person that I'm with, that's going to hinder my ability to survive and to be safe. So what happens is I push those emotions during the trauma moment into the amygdala and the amygdala holds those emotions and keeps them locked up so then my prefrontal cortex can behave and act accordingly to get through that time. So what happens is a lifetime of these traumatic moments build up in the amygdala. And eventually when I'm not in a trauma moment and I'm not going through anything tough, those emotions start to creep into my life. And I don't know where they come from, but I do know this, I'm not connecting with anybody. I don't trust people. I'm doubtful of others. I don't feel grounded in myself. I see people having, it seems like they're having meaningful relationships and I don't feel like I have any, even though I, I could be married or in a serious relationship, but I, I don't feel totally connected to that person. And the reason is because this amygdala of these fear and these fear-based emotions and all this trauma and all these things I've been holding is influencing my behavior. I'm just not even aware of it. So what happens during an ayahuasca session is the amygdala opens up and it connects what we call in the process called neuroplasticity and synaptic plasticity. And that's where there's new neuron pathways that can lead into different areas of the brain to help us bring awareness to what these emotions are and to help us let them out and to vent and to process this. So the prefrontal cortex gets involved and during that and you go, oh, look, I remember I was abused as a kid or I don't even, I blocked it. I don't even remember that, but I'm seeing that's what's happened. I, I had some some fear as a kid. I grew up in a rough neighborhood. I could see that it was scary and I see how I behaved and it brings back your memory on, on a lot of people. It also brings up those emotions. They surface because you can't process emotion unless you feel it and let it go. And people often get worried. They think, well, I don't want to feel any of those emotions from my past because they're scary. I don't want to relive trauma. You don't have to relive trauma. What you have to do is allow a vehicle to let the trauma emotion leave you. And that's what Rhythmia specializes in doing, is that we have a safe environment, we know this process is happening, we have a lot of support, a lot of integration, and we allow people to open up, become vulnerable in healthy ways, allow the amygdala and the prefrontal cortex to connect, and to allow these emotions to leave so that they can feel relief and finally relax into who they actually are. So as the neurochemistry connects with the person's intentions and what they're here to accomplish in the miracle rate, that's why we see that 97% of our guests achieve this miracle because of this neurochemical response that they've had. And in addition to the environmental and also behavioral things they've witnessed and been a part of in our program, in the actual mindful intention setting that they're doing. And all of that ties into the miracle rate and those three intentions that we've, that we've taught the guests.